Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Drive-By Reviews, where today we're doing a replacement carbon fiber overlay on my decal. That's right, taking care of it because it's gotten dinged up over the last five years. So let's dive right in and see what we need to take care of business. You're gonna need your carbon fiber sheet, of course. I chose black, pair of scissors, bottle of rubbing alcohol, and a nice clean towel, cotton preferably, sharp knife, I'm using an X-Acto knife, and of course, a bottle of kombucha and a shot glass to drink it down. And that's what you're gonna need to replace your decal. Let's do it. All right, now this step's not necessary if you don't have a decal, but first thing you gotta do is take off the old decal. It should come off just like a nice, clean sticker. So the next step, and the step that you'll do first if you don't have anything on your decal to begin with, is just to get some rubbing alcohol onto your towel, and you just go to town. You take off everything that's on that decal. I'm gonna get all this adhesive off, you're gonna get any dirt and grime off that you have on that decal. All right, there we go. We got it all nice and polished off with some alcohol. There should be basically nothing on there, including grease. It's all nice and clean, and then the alcohol kind of dries away, and you're good to go. And that's when you wanna take your next step, which is to take your carbon fiber overlay. You're just gonna measure out a piece that fits, right? So that's gonna be big enough right there, so I'm gonna cut it right through here. Take your pair of scissors and cut it through. You know, you don't necessarily want to waste this stuff, but don't get too greedy, because if you cut it too short, it's uh, it's going to screw you, right? All right, so the main thing here is you want to make sure you don't get this stuck on anything, so take a look. I'm going to go from right to left. All right, so let's take the backing off, like so. We're going to go right about there. And then you want to start feeling the edges, right? So I'm going to start bringing it in. I feel the edges, feel the edges. Okay, here's the upper section. Here's the lower section. Keep pulling to the side. And then if you start seeing some of these bubbles here, you just wanna pull back and make sure you go from the middle out so you don't run into that. Now, if you're having a little bit of trouble getting this down flat, especially with the, the you know, the not real, the extremely expensive ones tend to have these gaps in it that helps out a lot. But if you don't have that, you can always get a nice heat gun out here, or even a hair dryer, if you don't have, to, you know, if you're not doing a huge section like this, this is, this is kind of small, you can even use a hair dryer to help out. And that should be enough, all right? So here's our decal section here, right? And we're coming back down the back side. So I'm just smoothing it out, smoothing it out, making sure it's nice and smooth here. Okay, there's our decal right there. Just kind of keep track of it, make sure you know where you're going. Kind of keep an eye on where this is going, okay? So here's our top section, right out to the side, right down below, that looks all pretty good. We're gonna go right to the end. All right, so here's our decal. Kinda know where it's at. We see it's all nice and smooth on there. So give it a nice rub down. All right, now I'm just gonna take my fingernail and I'll come through right where the crease is where that decal ends. I'm gonna make sure I get a little bit of pressure there so I can see where I'm gonna run my knife in just a little bit here. By the way, when I first did this, I wasn't really sure how much it would add to the car, but I've really, really liked, I mean, just having that little black accent. And it looks really good, especially on the white chrome mix of the LTZ, which is what I currently have going on. I believe some of the LT models have the exact same color scheme, just without some of the leather seats and all that. All right, now this is where you wanna do a little bit of TLC, because you are going to bring your knife into the equation, right? So here's the X-Acto knife, boom. And what you wanna do is, I like to run kind of from the middle out, and then when you get to the edge where you got that chrome, you just get really gentle there because you don't want to swipe it and nick that really hard, so you're going to leave marks all over your car, right? All right, and once you're done, just make sure you really cut your corners to make sure they're there. I'll give it one final nice little push, maybe one more nail run through to make sure all those edges are down, right? Down, you want them down and in. All right, here we go, moment of truth. We're going to lift around right get all this off here boom and there you go you've got your carbon fiber overlay now they do sell these pre-cut but you can cut them yourself just like that and i believe those are much much cheaper anyways depending on what you're worried about and the pre-cut ones you just got to be really careful you get it on the right spot otherwise you're lifting and placing lifting and placing right but there you go that's how you do it easy as pie and it has a little bit of flash design to your car and of course they have these in all colors and sizes no matter what you want to do so there you have it all right, thanks for tuning in, guys. Don't forget to tune in next time to Drive By Reviews. Mm. Mm.